Hey angels, welcome back to my channel. This is my first Halloween tutorial for 2020 and as you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing a vampire or a sexy vampire. This was requested on my beauty Instagram page. I've never done a vampire look so I'm really excited for it. If you guys need inspo for your Halloween costume, I have posted a few different looks in the past couple of years so go ahead and check out my channel and my playlists if you guys need some ideas. But as for now, today we are going to be digging into a vampire look. This is not very difficult. The things I got were 99 cents for a whole pack of them at Michael's. I know that they have individual teeth fangs. Do what you guys would like. I'll link all of my supplies in the description below. I'm super excited to kick off this Halloween makeup week so if you are ready for it make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. So I'm filming from a little further back today just because I'm not really going to be teaching that much. I'm just going to be showing you my transformation. The first thing I'm going to be doing is applying my foundation. So using my Becca backlight primer. I'm gonna prime my skin. For foundation, I'll be using my L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage, the Weightless Feel 24 Hour Coverage Foundation. I'm not a fan of this one, but it is pretty light, and I left my other light foundations where I live, so I'm just gonna have to make this work. I love the brand L'Oreal, but I cannot stand this foundation. Like, I just think it's literally so bad, but I'm gonna try. Now I'll be taking my ColourPop concealer, and this is in the shade Light 10, and I'm gonna put this just like how I usually put my concealer, but I'm gonna use a little bit more than normal because this foundation did not do a lot of covering. Oh my God, the wand fell out, what? wand fell off. I'm so confused. I don't understand how the wand fell off in this tube, but <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. I'll be taking my Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. This is the extra coverage one, which is good because I want my face to still remain like pretty fair. Okay, great, it looked dead, perfect. For this next part, it's different from what I normally do. Usually I'll bronze and I'll use some sort of warm tones, but because I kind of want to look like dead and like cold, I'm just going to be using this middle shade from my contour kit by Anastasia. It is a very cool tone, like gray bronzer and contour shade, so I'm just going to be using that contour and bronze all over my face. I'll be taking my M437 brush to dip into that shade. And this is gonna really make me look like cool, like really cool toned. Not like cool, even though I'm cool, you know, but like cool tone. That was a dad joke. <laughs> Don't be afraid to go in with this shade as well because the more like gray and dark you look, the better. Like you're flying around a graveyard or something, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. And I'll be taking that same shade and going in with the brush to contour my nose. Cool thing about costume makeup is you can like kind of be messy with it. Like you can sort of be dramatic and you're not trying to look natural, you know? You can have more fun with it rather than being like super particular. I honestly have no idea what I'll be doing for Halloween this year. I don't think there's gonna be really that many trick-or-treaters. I don't think as many places as normal will be open. I pretty much hang with the same people all the time. So I'll probably end up just doing something with them, but what are you guys doing for Halloween this year? You're just staying in? And now I'll be baking. I'm so mad at myself, I still haven't gone to a pumpkin patch this year, and I do that every single year. I'm like slacking so much. So for brows, I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm taking my Morphe brow pencil in the shade Hazelnut, and I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I'm like, it's simple, it's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I feel like if I was gonna wear this out for Halloween, I'd probably just modify it and be bronze and like use my normal stuff. I probably wouldn't like try to look dead. Cool thing about this look is you can like look really cute. All you have to do is really add blood and fangs and you have a costume with your normal makeup. But for the sake of it being like a request, I wanted to try. 
So my brows are pretty bold today because my eyes are gonna have a lot of dark makeup on them. I'm gonna make that like my focal point and they need like a good like structure. I'm going to take my Morphe translucent brow gel to keep them in place. So I've been like really into trying new recipes and new things lately. For as long as I can remember, I've had like a very sensitive stomach and <laughs> Like literally, I can't usually hold down like anything acidic, spicy, like I'm allergic to bananas and like I guess a bunch of different things have the same properties as bananas such as avocados and like star fruit and all that stuff. So I like have a very limited diet. My boyfriend is the opposite and since we like to cook for each other and I've been buying food and cooking at home, I've been trying to be more open to different things and I'm actually just gonna dry these brows real quick. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna clean up underneath my brows and prime my eyelids with the P. Louise, P. Louise, the P. Louise eye base. This is in the shade Rumor 01. I put some on my hand first, because it says that I should do that, and then it warms up, and then I'll go ahead and use it. But anyways, I've been opening like my mind to more recipes and different foods and things like that, that lately. Unless I know for a fact it's gonna hurt my stomach. Like, I can't eat tomatoes, plain, I can't eat bananas, I can't eat avocados, so that means no guacamole. I have to be very careful with salsa, and like, for as long as I can remember, I can't really eat tacos, but I'm starting to learn that it depends on the seasoning that you put in it. So for instance, on Tuesdays now, we go and we buy this like taco kit that's like three bucks, and it comes with like shells, and seasoning mix and stuff like that and then I'll make like chicken and put it in there and it's been like fun <laughs> and I don't know what made me think of this but the other day my friend posted this I'm sure you guys have seen it online somewhere it's the cauliflower mac and cheese like a lot of people make it with chicken so I went ahead and tried it out so I made this recipe and of course like I'm in the kitchen I'm feeling all bold and like confident and adding like all of the recipe ingredients and then of course I'm like starting to add some different things that I think might like you know be good in it I made it with chicken so if you didn't know, I'll actually link the recipe, the correct one for you, but it's literally just like cauliflower with like a couple different types of cheeses, um, mozzarella, and I think cheddar, and then I used some Parmesan as well, and then just the shredded chicken. It's supposed to be better for you because it's cauliflower instead of noodles. Several people are there, and I'm like making enough to share, and I'm feeling all cocky about it, and then I go ahead and I serve everyone before myself, not thinking like maybe you should try it first, you know? I make this whole recipe, and everyone's like eating it, and everyone's like, wow, like, it's good, but, like, you could tell everyone's kind of, like, like, <laughs> getting thirsty. <laughs> I need it! And I start to realize I put one head of cauliflower in and probably, like, four bags of cheese. So this thing is, like, full of cheese and garlic and flavor, and it was so much that it could literally have been used as a dip, like, not a casserole. It could have been used to like dip a chip or something into. It was so thick of cheese. I wasn't even measuring the cheese. I like literally disregarded that part of the recipe and just put as much as I wanted, which ruined it for everyone. But really quick before I put any more of this base on my eyelids, I'm gonna dust off the powder down here because I don't want the powder and that to mix. Long story short, try new recipes you know, step out of your comfort zone, especially since a lot of us are like stuck at home, but make sure you follow the recipe because everyone was on the toilet. Like it was not good and it was all my fault. <laughs> I have no idea what made me tell you guys that. I'm gonna use this palette, the 35C palette by Morphe. The shades I'll probably be focusing on are this black shade, this beige shade, the gray, the cream, probably what I'm gonna be mainly using. So little side note, I got a box from Morphe today and I did an unboxing on my beauty Instagram if you guys wanna see the details of the products that I got. Super cool, I'm part of their Glam Fam team and my code is GLAMFAM848 if you guys would like to save money on your purchase. I received this gel liner in black with this liner brush. So I'm gonna take this liner and I'm actually gonna take it on this brush. This is the eye shading brush by Lavish. So dipping into the pot, I'm just gonna place this right on my lid and the reason I'm using this liner is because it's super dark and a lot of times whenever you're doing like a smoky eye and you're blending and blending and blending it actually takes a lot of the pigment out of whatever color you're blending it just kind of sets you up to have a really really dark finish which is what I'm going for now I'll be taking my M506 brush and just blending out the edges to make them soft before I add any eyeshadow
Now I'm going to take my M710 brush and I'll be dipping into the really, really dark shade in this palette, pressing that into the black that we just put on our eyes. Now I'm going to go back in with the M506 brush to blend out these edges. The next shade we're gonna go in with is this shade right here. Um, it's like a cool tone beige, I guess. And I'll be taking that on my M433 brush. And I'm just gonna blend it all together and upward. The next thing I'll be doing is lining my waterline with a black eyeliner. This is just to keep giving it that dark, dramatic look by Hollywood and Vine in the shade black. Next, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing on my lower lash line, all the same steps, but just thinner because my lower lash line is smaller. Now, the only difference at this part that I'm gonna do is instead of using the beige color, I'm going to use this shade because it's a little bit more red. It's like a berry kind of color, but I'm going for something sort of bloody looking-ish. I'm basically trying to make it look like really, really deep under eye circles that like you would have if you were dead. Creepy! Oh my god, it's so creepy. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy now that I look crazy. I wasn't gonna add any highlight or anything, but I think I'm actually gonna use my Fenty Beauty highlight today and how many carrots. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of it to my cheekbones. Honestly, you don't have to, but this is just gonna give it a little extra pop right here. I'm gonna have to wash these tonight for tomorrow's look because yikes. I look so scary and I like poke myself in the eye so I have like little blood vessels. Yikes. <laughs> okay. For lashes today, I wanted to do something super dramatic so I'll be taking these lashes from Amazon. I'll link them below if you guys wanna get some like this. It was really, really cheap. This was one of my TikTok like had to buy because TikTok told me two purchases. I'm sure we've all been through that. So real quick, I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and my lashes and be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. Next step is my lips. So I purchased this NYX Black Lip Liner. It's a suede matte lip liner and it's in the shade Alien. As you can see, I left the middle of my lips open and that's because I'm going to be putting a red lipstick on. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I haven't used it yet. This is like the prettiest lipstick I've ever seen, literally. The brand is Hank and Henry and the lipstick has glitter on it. So I'm just gonna put this in the center. I'm just gonna touch up the outside again. Ooh, ooh, who is she? Now we're doing the blood. So I'm gonna take my blood I feel like there's no like right way to do this. I'm like over here turning my head. And me, if I was like going somewhere, I would only wanna worry about like one part of my mouth, especially if I'm eating or drinking. So I'm just gonna do it on one side and let it kind of drip like it is naturally. For the last touch, I'm gonna add one right here. I'm gonna dip into the black liner again and do two little dots like fangs. Oh my God, I caught that. I don't know how. I got hands, I guess. I'm gonna do one more dot right here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of shading around it, kind of like a bruise. I don't know if that looks legit, but now I'm gonna add a couple more drops to that part. Oh, what? freak. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm gonna set my face. All right, and the final part of this look is our fangs. Again, you guys can use whatever fangs you want. These came in a pack of like eight for 99 cents at Michael's. So I'm gonna put these in and be right back. So here's the problem. <laughs> 
you guys need to get the expensive ones. I highly recommend not getting these. They just don't look good. Either get the little ones that go right on your teeth or just say screw it and just go with your regular teeth because no. Hell no. Well, angels, that is it for this tutorial. This is everything finished off. You can wear your hair up, down, you can wear a wig, whatever you guys wanna do, however you wanna twist this up and make it your own. Send me pics or tag me if you decide to recreate this look. Oh my gosh, it's about to drip again. Ah, be careful with this stuff. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this or got some inspiration from it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up for me. Hit subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. And comment below any requests that you have. This was really fun. I hope you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you, angels. And God bless.